This is how to make a sea of ruffles using a ribbon yarn. I'm going to start out working with a single crochet piece that I've already started. It doesn't matter how many stitches you have. Now before you begin, take your ribbon yarn and very carefully wind it so it is smooth and even. You may have to cut off the end to even it off a little bit, but to begin working we're going to turn at least two. You've got the ribbon and then you've got the loops on top. You're going to turn it so you have at least two loops in. You could do three if you would like. And I'm going to begin working with the base. I'm chaining two to go up the side. Now normally you would chain three and skip this first space. That would be your, the chain three would count as your double crochet, but not in this pattern. I'm chaining two and I'm doing a yarn over as if I'm going to make a double crochet and I do not skip that first space. I go into the first stitch and now I begin, I pick up my ribbon and I carry it along the back. I'm going through that first loop and in this case it's double loops because we're beginning. Yarn over, pull it through, and now I just make a regular double crochet. And I'm going to do that again. Yarn over, I'm going through the next stitch, and then I'm going through the next loop. And of course the loops are um, spaced apart much more than our stitches and that's what of course is going to make the big ruffle. Yarn over, pull it through, double crochet. I'm going to do one more, yarn over, go through my next single crochet. From now on all the rows would be double crochet, but I started with the single crochet. I've now gone through the double loop, so I'm beginning to just work my ribbon normally. I go through the next loop, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through twice for a double crochet. I'm using a G hook. I'm now going to pick up the item that I've been working on and take you to the end so you can see how it works when you turn. I'm down towards the end of this row. Let me get my hook in my yarn. I always run the ribbon along the back. And so now I'm just continuing doing my yarn over on my hook. I'm going into the next double crochet. I'm then make sure always keep your ribbon flat so you're always working along the back and that I'm going into the next available loop. Like I said the loops are quite a bit larger so you'll have to keep track that you don't work double in a loop. Yarn over, pull it through, double crochet, and we've got a couple more till we get to the corner. One more here. Next ribbon loop. Double crochet. Yarn over and I'm working now in the corner stitch. I'm pulling up the next ribbon loop. Yarn over, pull through, double crochet. And when I turn, I'm doing the same thing as when we started. I'm chaining two and when I turn be sure to pull your ribbon flat around and we just begin that working this row now. Yarn over, don't skip that first stitch, go into that first stitch at the very bottom of your chain two, pick up the next loop and work through. Continue working until you get to the very end and when you reach the end do it just like we did in the very beginning. Take, let me get the end here of this one, fold it over. So again you'll be working through at least two double loops this way. So you'll be working through at least two double loops to have that a nice clean edge. And after you finish each row, just very gently pull your ruffles down to help even off, you can see, help even off that mesh that's hanging down. 
It really makes a beautiful, full ruffle that you can use as a scarf or part of something else that you're making, either as an edging or as a complete item. If you would like to see written instructions on how to do this, make a ruffle, please go to Free Patterns at simpleandsensational.com.